Hi, my name is Tara Hine Phillips. I am the Chief Product Officer at Sundance Institute. I just recently relocated from London to New York and while the world is still pretty shut down, this is my new office space, which is amazing. Um, I watched the Berlin Wall fall on television and I remember being mesmerized by what was happening partly because my father grew up in uh, what would become East Berlin, although he left before the wall went up, um, but also because it was amazing to me that the wall had stood so long. And maybe looking at our current political situation, that's it is actually more understandable how walls go up, but I am very glad to be working on taking walls down. The first thing that I wanted to be um, when I was a child was a scientist. And that definitely didn't happen in the way I thought it would. Um, I also wanted to be a playwright. And that also didn't happen in the way that I thought it would. Uh, but I think what's been interesting about what I'm working on now, too, is that it has brought together sort of that analytical side of myself. Um, it has brought together the artistic side of myself. And it's leveraged all the all the things that I care about from a from a social standpoint in terms of access and um, opening doors and breaking down walls and all of that. So I think in some ways, the job that you want when you're a child, you you can't really actually imagine, and you know, kind of until you have until you're an adult and you sort of say, oh right, like this was the feeling I was going for, and that's kind of how I feel about what I'm working on now. The wall that my work breaks is access to education. I have spent most of my career working on making education accessible through digital reach, and I have witnessed firsthand how digital education succeeds, not just as a replacement for live experiences, but as its own equal, different, uh, and often better experience. Um, it can be it can be an enhancement to live. It can stand alone, absolutely, on its own. Um, and what it does uniquely is connect people who would never have had a chance to meet otherwise. And I think that is the biggest potential for breaking down walls because when you begin to understand other people, the world changes around you. I have spent the past two years working with the Sundance Institute to build Sundance Collab, um, which is a global community of artists, and it centers around work in progress. Sundance wanted to open access to as many artists as possible around the world and to make sure that they were at the forefront of nurturing the stories that are out there in every corner of this planet. There are a lot of resources out there. There's a lot of sites out there for filmmakers and artists, but there's nothing that really nurtures your particular story. Nothing that really put that at the center. Um, and I started my life as a playwright, so I know firsthand what it feels like to be working on a project in the middle of the night, not know if it's very good, um, and just need that feedback or even just the discipline to keep working on it. And that's what we wanted to create. We wanted to create a space that opens doors for every artist out there and giving them the opportunity to get that story heard. We also are completely powered by the Sundance artist community. And it's basically through their generosity and their, their just willingness to want to give back that the community has also flourished. We have open free resources, videos, open events, and then we also have much more intensive courses. But even the intensive courses, even if they have fees, they have scholarships, much of the site is open and free for anybody to participate, which was also something uh, that we wanted to make different about this community. I think I think it is unique because we also built it with the generosity and kindness values at the center. It goes to show that at a time when many communities are engaging in 
discourse that is not particularly civil, that if you set that intention and put that value on a community, they they are excited to participate in that. We've had very, very little, uh, if almost none, um, you know, sort of negative feedback or trolling or any of the other things that plague um, other, other communities. And we're very, very proud uh, to say that it's grown from sort of very tiny community to over uh, 100,000 artists now and growing every day. Um, and it's not uncommon for there to be, you know, up to 10 countries represented in any one uh, intensive and many, many, many more in our open sessions. So I, I do think it's completely innovative in terms of arts education, which can be incredibly expensive and time consuming, but making this completely open to anyone has been truly revolutionary for artists. In terms of the questions that remain unanswered, I wonder, I would love to see us really have some breakthrough artists. It's too new um, for that to have happened yet because we're really focused on work in progress. So right now we have artists beginning their projects and you know just starting to get them out there. And a lot of them are short films or, or shorter projects. And we are seeing that some people are getting those into festivals and they're starting to produce those. But I would really love to see this become a gateway for artists that could not have gotten their stories out there and really get them into the market in a, in a big way. That would be incredible. It's not clear yet uh, how long that takes or how many years it would take to incubate those projects to, to get them there, but, but I think it's going to happen. I've been working in digital education for 15 years or so now. And this is truly the first project that I've worked on that I think most of my friends and family actually talk about, that they ask me about. Um, I think there's something just so compelling, not just about Sundance and what it does for artists around the world, but also just about the opportunity, you know, to learn about what artists are doing. So this, this is definitely, um, this is definitely the one people have cared about the most, which has been sort of nice to have people actually ask and wonder what I'm working on. <laughs> 